Hello everybody! Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. My name is Sho and today I have a little bit of a what's in my work tote slash update slash review for the Kiana structured tote bag. Um, this structured tote I unboxed and talked a little bit about my initial impressions a while back. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit of a link to that so that you can see that initial video. Um, if you did watch it, you may recall when I received the bag, I was a little bit apprehensive because, um, I don't know, it was weird. The handles were all scrunched up and ridiculous and it just, it didn't look like it was in fantastic shape when I received it. I mean, it was still beautiful and it smelled amazing, but it was just not as pristine as I assumed it was going to be. But after about two months, this is how she looks. Um, all of the weird wrinkles that were in the handles are gone, probably because I weigh this sucker down with so much in it, but um, it looks fantastic. Any of the weird wrinkles that I had found within the bag itself are gone. It's in a phenomenal shape. This bag is an absolute workhorse and I adore it so, so much. It's actually become my main work tote. Now, this particular tote comes in the color soft rose. That's the color I got. Um, I don't think it looks like a soft rose at all. It looks more like a bit of a sort of a, a taupey color uh, to me anyway. Uh, there's a bit of like a a dusty rose slash beigeness to it that definitely is much more descriptive than this soft rose thing. I don't know. Anyway, the interior is uh, called cappuccino. Uh, it's more like a sort of a uh, grayish brown <laughs> rather than like, I, I, when I think of cappuccino, I think of like a rich, creamy brown. And this is definitely a little bit more gray than that. Um, but I absolutely love the color scheme of this. It's very, very neutral, not too warm, not too cool. This is perfect for anyone who does find themselves sort of vacillating between the two tendencies. If you tend towards the more cool, if you tend towards the more warm, it still will work regardless. Anyway, I am so very, very happy with this bag. It is like I said, a total work horse, and it seems to get more and more wonderful as the days go by. I mean, I really do absolutely love this bag. I have just gotten home from work. I did not take anything out that I had with me. Uh, the only thing that's not in here that was in here in the morning is a Greek yogurt that I had for lunch. Uh, other than that, I haven't like taken out you know, any bits of trash. This is... <laughs> This is about as true a what's in my bag as I'm going to be able to do. Um, just for reference, so you know, I am a emerging, emerging technology librarian, so I always have lots of gadgets and gizmos no matter what. Uh, so I do tend to carry a lot of stuff with me. Uh, that said, I think you could probably carry even more than I have uh, because I have never once felt like the straps were in danger of breaking. Granted, again, I've only had this bag for two months, so who knows what it's going to look like a year down the line. I'm sure if people are interested, I'd be happy to do an update at that point. But in the last two months of very heavy use, she has held up so well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of dive in. You can see she is packed. I mean, packed. And I've actually packed her even more full than this at times. It just depends on you know, what I'm carrying with me to, from day to day if I have uh, certain kinds of instructs or whatever to do. Anyway, uh, on the very top, I have a, uh, just like a cotton scarf from Katie Loxton. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the company, uh, but she just does some nice accessories like bags and things, nothing super luxe, but I do really like her scarves. They're very, very soft and, um, great for like the summertime because they're sort of light and it is always freezing in the library. So it's perfect for when I just haven't dressed properly. Uh, but I always have one of these with me no matter what.
and I'm trying to think the best way to do this. Okay, so I'm going to take out the main crux of things. This is my bag organizer, also stuffed full. Um, I have this with me constantly, and I'm going to put that to the side just so you can sort of see what else is in here. Um, so the Kiana structure toe is really just a giant cavernous gaping hole. I mean, it's a tote. That's what they're supposed to be. Really, really simple. Uh, it only has one pocket that goes on the side, but it is really nice because it has two elements to it. Um, it has a slip pocket and then a zippered pocket for like more valuable items. And I really, really like that element of it. Um, inside the front slip pocket, I have my, uh, ID card. Uh, it just lets me in the door and everything. And it's on a lanyard from, goodness gracious, from this really cute little company. And for the life of me, I can't remember if I can, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, but they do these really, really cute little um, anime-esque designs. This one, I think, is a little fox demon. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, this is a thank you card for a graduation party that I went to from a co-worker's uh, son. Uh, let's see, what else do I have in here? Oh, uh, in the zippered pocket, when I'm bringing my work to, I usually have my phone. Uh, I am obviously filming on my phone, so I just have the case. I use a Samsung 8 Plus, by the way, and that totally fits in that zippered pocket. You don't have to worry about anything else beyond that. It, it, it will zip right up uh, with no problem whatsoever. So if you have one of the large iPhones, it'll also fit in there. Um, the only other thing that I have in that zippered section um, is, for whatever reason, a Longchamp um, card and then the Kiana um, card. I never throw these things away, uh, though obviously the Longchamp does not belong in this bag. <laughs> That is so strange. I don't know what in the world I was thinking. Okay, so inside this giant cavernous bag, I always have my insert. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember the company, but I will absolutely uh, go through my records and find out what the company is. I really, really like their stuff. I actually have two different colors of this particular insert, and works really, really well. It's just made out of felt. It has a an insert that you can take out, which I have always do. But beyond that, it just is very, very sturdy. And I've used this one for a very long time. It just happens to be a perfect color to go with the Kiana tote. And it has lots of pockets and just works very, very well for me. Um, in my front pocket, I have just a little... Midori Traveler's Notebook in the passport size. I usually just jot down like to-dos and things like that. Um, in the other pockets, oh, I have a Argan Oil Hand Cream from the Korean company Secret Garden. And this one is Special Care and it does not tell me what it smells like. Let me see if I can remember. Nope, it's something lightly floral though. It smells delicious. Uh, I do like this hand cream. I usually use shea butter stuff because my hands are always a hot mess, but this one I've found is really, really nice and I got it for like a buck 50 at TJ Maxx. Um, I also, oh, in that same pocket, always carry a Smith's Rosebud Salve. This is my absolute favorite uh, lip balm. It works so, so well. It's just really, really nice and it smells great, but ju just, just does the job perfectly. Um, oh, I also have a ROM and D Juicy Lasting Tint Balm, and this is in the color Nudie Peanut. I'm terrible at swatches. I apologize can see that. Um, and what I love about these is that they 
go on really lightly, but they stain really well. Um, so even if you have like a little bit, only a little bit of color at first, it just sort of sticks with you and um, will last for quite a long time. In the other side, there's this long pocket that normally I would put like a regular sized iPad in if I'm doing an instruct that has a regular sized iPad. Since I usually bring my Pro with me, I don't have that all the time, but every once in a while. Um, this is just a birthday card from a coworker. It was still in here. I just, it's a very nice card and I didn't want to take it out. I like to look at it. <laughs> um, in that same pocket, I also have my Kindle Paperwhite. I love this thing. Uh, super light, though I will say it weighs about the same as my iPad mini when it's in its case, but um, outside of the case, it's just fantastic. It's so light. I fall asleep reading with it, and if it hits me in the face, it doesn't hurt. Um, if you're someone prone to falling asleep with an iPad and it has hit you in the face, you know that that definitely does hurt, so um, I really, really love this thing. Um... Okay, moving on to the interior pockets, I have my Hobonichi Weeks with the special uh, Sesame Street Anniversary print on it. I love that. I love Hobonichi to begin with. It's by far uh, my favorite planner, and the Weeks setup is so awesome. Let me get to a section that I haven't written anything in yet, uh, so you can kind of see. Okay, here's one that's blank. And it's just really simple. You've got your weeks weekly setup on one side, and then you just have a grid that you can sort of work however you want on the other. And it just, it leaves you with enough freedom to get crazy, but it still has enough structure so that all of the in important information is always there. It also has a calendar section, a monthly calendar section in the front, which I absolutely love. Not all weeklies do that. And it just makes life so much easier for, at least for me. So if you like having a variety of ways to keep track of things, uh, I would strongly recommend the Hobonichi Weeks. I absolutely use this year after year. Um, I also have a zippered pencil pouch from Hinemo. And I love this thing. I've had lots of pen pouches, but this one's really cute. I love the color, this sort of like deep orangey red, and it carries a ton of stuff without being overly bulky, uh, just because of the way that you zip and set it up. Oh, I don't know if anybody cares, but um, I carry with me always a Tombow Mono Correction Pen. Uh, this thing is fantastic if you like uh this kind of correction tape. This Tombow is my absolute favorite. Uh, I've got a Micron in here. It's probably an 01. That's my favorite nib size. Um, I have a Pilot High Tech C, the Mica version, uh, 03. My Apple Pencil. I have an Inkjoy. I have an X-Acto knife. I have, oh, a super duper cute Kiki's Delivery Service pen. So, pencil, not pen. Um, it really is just so cute. And then a High Tech C Coletto, which has like the three different options. And I happen to have like a black, a blue black ink, and then a pink ink. I remember these things from when I was a kid, but they were nowhere near as nice to use or as comfortable in the hand. And uh, Pilot just does a phenomenal job with writing utensils in general. So if you're a pen addict like I am, and you're not already using Pilot, you should definitely check them out. Okay, moving back. Um, I work a lot of weird hours. I also don't take like proper meal breaks. So I have a ton of little snacks in here. Um, this one is a protein one chocolate fudge protein bar. These are great. They're like the perfect size. They're super filling and they have solid macros. It's only about 90 calories for the bar. 
um, 10 grams of protein. I never get enough protein. Um, it's about two grams of fat. There are 11 grams of carbs, but five of those are dietary fiber. Um, only one gram of sugar and there are zero added sugars. There are four sugar, sugar alcohols. Um, I'm sure people don't really care about this, but I do. Uh, I love these. These are so, so good. They taste nice as opposed they don't taste fantastic i mean it's still a protein bar um but they don't taste like chalk i find a lot of protein bars taste terrible and taste really chalky and this does not do that um other pocket i have another uh high protein bar this one has 14 grams of protein in it it's from garden of life one of my favorite supplement com uh, companies this is uh the organic fit line and it is a chocolate fudge flavor uh, it has 13 grams of prebiotic fiber, only one gram of sugar in it. It is USDA organic, non-GMO, uh, vegan, gluten-free, no dairy or soy. I am uh, not gluten-free, but I try to not eat too much processed uh, wheat, mainly because I have this weird thing with um, some GI issues that are brought on by processed grains. Uh, but yeah, this one works really well for me. I don't ever feel sick and I don't ha tend to have bad allergic reactions to these. Um, it is 230 calories, so it is essentially a meal replacement bar, but with it being like 14 grams of protein, I mean, you get a lot in here. Um, 27 grams of carbs, 13 dietary fiber. Uh, it's only 70 milligrams of sodium and I really try and watch my sodium levels. Uh, pretty hardcore. So macros are excellent on these. Again, that one's the Garden of Life Organic Fit High Protein Bar. Um, I carry a pocket juice um, battery pack. And I love this one because it has a ton of ways to connect to your devices. Um, and it just has the attached plug you can just plug right into an outlet so you don't have to attach a plug and then attach like a lightning cord which I find it annoying as I'll get out um, so I really like this one it's pocket juice and it holds a pretty good charge it's 6,000 uh, amps or whatever they are MAH I know I'm a digital technology librarian I never remember that abbreviation I, I'm terrible let me tell you um, what else do I have in here? Okay, I have my iPad Pro. This is the second generation. It is 12, the 12 incher. Uh, this thing is fantastic. If you are curious, I absolutely love the iPad Pro. I use this thing all the time instead of a proper computer. I actually um, am down a computer at work. Mine is on the fritz and there's this weird computer shortage. So I've just been working on this guy and I have not had any problems. So there is that. To go along with my Pro, I have my portable keyboard. Now, it, I, I bought this little PVC case in pink because why not? I love this keyboard. It is beautiful. It is like aesthetically exactly my thing. I love the round keys. I love the color scheme that sort of like cream stone and stone color shades it's just it's perfect it is also heavy as heck it's the logitech 360 good grief this thing adds or 380 this thing adds so much weight to my bag i can't even i can't even explain there are so many keyboards that are lighter than this and yet i love it because it looks nice i hate that i'm so form over function or not even really form over function it's just like nice form i'll take it kind of mentality but yeah uh i still recommend it because it's beautiful it comes in a lot of different colors if you are someone who likes light things though the logitech 380 is not for you do not get this if you want something super light if you don't care about the extra weight this might be it for you okay i have my little business card carrier in flamingo pink, even though it doesn't really look like flamingo pink to me. And this guy carries about 25 business cards at a time. Um, 
I got it on Etsy uh, from a really nice company. It took forever to arrive, but I was really happy with the result because it was super cheap and really, really nice and made of real leather, full grain leather at that. Um, this little Rebecca Minkoff pouch in the bag. I have lots of little tech doodads. I have my uh, Jabra earbuds in here. I have an extra lightning cord for iPad thingies in case a patron comes in and they want an instruct and they haven't charged their device. That happens a lot. Uh, this is a converter cord for the pocket juice um, charger that I just showed you a little bit ago. I have my regular Apple earbuds along. Then they're know if it's gonna show up but my little cord keeper is shaped like a kitty cat I mean if you're gonna have a cord keeper it might as well be shaped like something adorable right uh let's see oh I have my Jabra charger cord too and oh I still have more I have an extra cord keeper I have a USB mini to uh, C adapter and just an eight gigabytes uh, flash drive. So I keep a lot of random junk and it almost always comes in handy. I, oh, interesting. I have a bangle. I have no idea where I got this. I think probably Etsy, but I'm not sure. Uh, but that was just thrown into the bottom of my bag. Uh, da, da, da. I have a little coach, uh, large sized pouch and it's just in the coated canvas. Um, I have tampons in here. I have a couple of alcohol wipes, individually wrapped alcohol wipes. Um, I have a couple of wet ones. Um, I have a ton of band-aids. I have... Um, panty liners. It's basically my catch-all pouch. Oh, an alcohol prep pad for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, it's just the bag that I keep all of my random stuff in. Uh, I have a version of this for like little bags as well. And then I have my Longchamp cosmetic case, which I do not keep cosmetics in. Uh, and it's in the bilberry color. I have a silk a black silk scrunchie i love silk scrunchies they don't leave a dent in your hair which is really nice um oh i have another protein one bar again chocolate fudge i have a packet of uh nuts and lilies unsweetened chocolate chips uh, i always put these together and I have them stashed all over the place. Um, it's a hot mess in my car in the summertime. That's why I keep them in plastic bags. Um, but those are always great to have when you're looking for a healthy snack. Um, the nuts are unsalted, so you don't add to your sodium intake. And then because Lily's doesn't add any actual sugar, so I think they're sweetened with stevia. So you don't get any extra sugar that way either. And they're quite low in sodium. I think it's 55 calories for a serving, which is 14 grams, I want to say, of the chips. And you get a ton of chips with that. I mean, this is how many chips you get. So it's really, really good. Um, I have a little packet of like the little flossers, the little, and then I have, it's also got like 10 toothpicks. They call them swords. I don't know why they call them swords. They're toothpicks. Um, but I try and keep things like this all the time. Um, I have, oh, I have my reusable Vantic metal straw. I have a Tide pen. I never go anywhere without a Tide pen. I have two like scrunchies that I use at the gym and I have two more of those. I have, oh my God, how many of these do I have? I have another two. So that's six scrunchies for the gym. Um, I have my milk and sass, uh, compact mirror slash detangling brush. I love this thing. Altogether, it's pretty thick. It's a little macaron, but considering you get both a detangling style brush and a compact mirror, 
I actually don't think that the space is um, an issue. And that's everything that I had in my Longchamp Bilberry uh, cosmetic pouch. And then finally, God, how long is this video? I'm so sorry. Finally, I always carry a little a mini purse or something. This is my Nolita 19. It's just in the black with the gold hardware. Um, I really enjoy the Nolita line. I think that it works really, really well. It carries a crap ton of stuff. Um, if you're somebody who likes the idea of, say, the uh, mini pochette, but you don't want to spend all the extra cash on it. I think the Nolitas are great. Uh, the 19 actually carries more than the mini. Uh, it has a really nice wide gusset at the bottom. You can absolutely keep it like I do, and you can put it on your wrist, on your elbow, or on your shoulder. And you can also just make it into a wristlet. But I love this thing. I do carry it quite often, especially in my work totes. Though I totally will shove an entire small actual purse purse into my bag as well sometimes. So just depends on what I'm carrying. Um, this one has my keys in it. And my keys are always attached to just this uh, coach key case. I used to have the Louis Vuitton, but I really honestly love this valet, valet key thing so much better uh, because anytime I'm using valet, I can just take off my actual key part, which is harder to do with the other. Um, and it's got a number of little sections that you can put other cards into. So sometimes if I just want to bring something super small, I'll slip like credit card my ID in this and just bring this guy along. What else do I have in here? I have a Charlotte Tilbury uh, pillow talk and this is in the medium shade. Oh, I also have an Urban Decay lipstick. I love the bullet style um, case. And this is Liar, and it's one of the cream lipsticks. I love this. I don't see it very well. Don't know. Um, oh, post-COVID world, I have a uh, black face mask. This one is from Uniqlo. I love Uniqlo's face masks, especially when... Um, we were wearing them constantly. The material is so nice. And I still, I mean, I actually wore masks long before COVID was a thing. Uh, but I did not know about Uniqlo's masks. I don't even know if they had masks at the time. I just was using these ones that I imported from Japan all the time. Anyway, these are fan-freaking-tastic. They don't give you mask me. Uh, they breathe well without making you feel like you're not wearing anything at all. Um, and they're just, they're just really nice. And I like the sizing on them. So those were really great. Uh, choo -choo -choo. Oh, I have my purse size Gucci Bloom. Gucci Bloom is just pretty much my favorite perfume, the original. So I always have something like that with me, that or the original Chloe. I have an honest hand sanitizer spray in Grapefruit Grove. That smells really lovely. Um, anything else? Yes, I have my card case. It's just a six card case holding uh, card holder uh, from Coach. It has the carriage print on it. Uh, I really, I like the six, the six card size. Um, I wasn't sure I'm used to the, the, the four card and I thought maybe the six wouldn't fit and it does get a little too big for say a lot of the wallet on change bags, uh, wallet on chain bags, but it works perfectly fine in this, in the Nolita and it is just flexible enough to be able to shove quite a few bills in there if you want, but it's just a really, it, I really, really like this thing. And then that is everything. Oh, a receipt, a receipt from, oh, a receipt from my local coffee shop, $4.50. Who knows? Um, 
My preferred beverage, by the way, is the a decaf latte with uh, coconut milk. Um, I'm super exciting. I have to drink decaf. I stopped being able to take caffeine, which is a bummer. Um, but anyway, that is everything that fits in the Nolita 19. I could probably shove a little bit more. My phone actually will fit in there even with all of that stuff. Um, and I have done that before, but I don't, I usually will just slip it into my pocket if I'm just quickly running out with something. Anyway, I don't know if you can see everything that's all the way around here, but there's a lot of stuff and it all fits in here. And I am seriously so, so happy with this bag. I, I think it was one of my best purchases in the last couple of years. It's certainly my favorite, um, tote bag purchase. And that's coming from someone who adores Portland leather. I, I love Portland leather good stuff, but I think that there's something about this color scheme, the, the really cool chill neutrals. Um, Portland leather is great if you like these bold, intense colors. And I do for certain things, certain outfits, I absolutely love them. But for most of my work wardrobe, really, I wear a lot of beige. I wear a lot of cream. I wear a lot of black. I wear a lot of white. That's what I wear when I go to work. So something like this is just sort of perfect. I don't really have to think about being matchy matchy because it just automatically goes. So if you're someone who wants a bag that they can throw on their shoulder every day, not worry about it clashing. If you are looking for something that's really going to take a beating and not look tragic, if you just want a bag that looks really classy and will hold a boatload of stuff, this thing holds more than my two large Portland leather bags. I, I can't believe that because those things hold a ton of stuff too. But this thing really is a complete and total workhorse. So, okay, so things that are pretty darn irritating when you start to edit your video and then realize the last like four minutes are totally corrupted. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So I apologize about any weird skippy edit that I had to do at the end in order to get here. I just uh, wanted to close things out. Plus, it gives me a little bit of a chance to sort of um, show you what a fully packed uh, Kiana structured tote will look like on. So let me grab that. Hold on just one second. Okay, so here is my fully packed baby. She weighs about 20 pounds right now, um, but she doesn't feel overly heavy. Like I'm not dying with her even on my shoulder, even totally packed. Um, I can hold her and support the bottom end if I want to, but I don't need to do that. Um, the other nice thing is the top sort of the other handle, the out facing handle will slide off so I can dig through, grab my ID if I need to, and then swipe to get into the building. Um, it really is a fantastic bag. If you are looking for a really phenomenal, uh, work tote that will go with anything. And you'll notice I did swap out my, um, blazer for just this plain gray, uh, hoodie from Kints, uh, which is a really, really fantastic hoodie. It's super warm, but it's ludicrously soft, sustainably made. I love the company. Um, it still manages to go with everything because again, this neutral, is perfect if you waffle between warm uh, neutrals and cool neutrals. It doesn't really matter. It never really seems to uh, make a massive, massive difference. Anyway, uh, so this has been my little review, my what's in my work tote, my sort of mishmash of everything for the Kiana Structured Tote. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment below. I'll try and answer them. If I can't answer, I will find someone who can. Um, this has been a really fantastic bag. It's been a load of fun actually to go through and sort of share it with you. Uh, with that, I'm going to close things out. I hope everyone had a good time. I know this is the longest flipping video ever. Uh, but it's been a while since I've done like a full on what's in my bag. Anyway, 
had a great time. I hope you did too. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this has been helpful in any way, shape or form, or, you know, if you're just feeling generous, please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I love meeting new people. I love talking about bags. Um, if you ever look through the comments, we chit chat back and forth all the time. Uh, so again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.